Hey everybody, it's Eric from Mad A Productions, and today we're going to be looking at Game & Watch Gallery 3 on the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Uh, this is a black cartridge, so um, this will work in the original old school Game Boy, and it'll play in black and white mode, and then it'll also um, play in the Game Boy Color and take advantage of the Game Boy Color's uh, color capabilities, so that's pretty cool. Um, now, like what the name implies, Game & Watch Gallery, this is the third one in the series, and what these are is these are a collection of the LCD um, handheld games that Nintendo, the Game & Watch games that Nintendo released in the 1980s. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this channel, uh, you know that collecting those has kind of become a hot thing, and they've gotten really expensive, some of them are hard to find. So these, these galleries, these Game & Watch Gallery collections, are a much more affordable way uh, to be able to play all those games because honestly as far as LCD handheld games go a lot of those game and watch games are really fun to play to this day and I, I think that's part of the reason why they're so collectible and uh, why they've gotten so expensive is because some of them really are fun I know that I, I never had any as a kid but I had lots of friends that had them and um, I remember a lot of them being fun so um, and also I did review game and watch gallery the first the first came in this series way back when when I first started doing reviews in this channel so if you're interested in checking that out, um, if you want to go all the way back to the beginning of my videos, there's there's a review of that as well. Let's pop this into the original Game Boy, and we can see what it looks like on that. And while we're shamelessly plugging things, this is the Newbie Game Light Plus, and I actually reviewed this on the channel uh, way back when as well, right around the same time I, I reviewed the first Game & Watch Gallery game. So if you want to check that out, you can do that. What this does is it's got a light there that you can flip on. I've already got it on. And then it also magnifies the screen. Um, you know, the Game Boy, the original one, is pretty awful. <laughs> the screen. So you've got the options to play the games, or there's also a gallery with like all kinds of unlockable things, history and stuff like that behind the games. But let's fire up one of the games just so you can see what it looks like. Let's take a look at Egg, the first one. And you can see there's a there's a modern mode and a classic mode, and then there's a easy and hard for each. Hard just means sped up, but let's take a look at the classic game and easy. And I it's really hard to see on this thing and film as well, but I just want to kind of you know show you guys what it looked like on an original old school Game Boy. But let's be honest, nobody's going to play this <laughs> on the original Game Boy. It's just too much of a pain in the ass. So let's, let's plug it into uh, something that's backlit and a little bit easier to play. So there it is. And you can see that's much easier to look at. This is one, uh, the Mario Brothers game. I have a, this is one I, a friend had. Oh, I already dropped the first piece, Jesus. But I have fond memories of playing this one. You can see it starts out pretty slow. But let's be honest, nobody's probably gonna play this on the uh, Game Boy Advance. Well, some people might play it on the Game Boy Advance SP. I, I do play these a lot on the Game Boy Advance SP, but this is also a pain in the ass to try and film. So, that being said, let's turn this off. What we can do is we can plug this into the Super Game Boy. This will work in the Super Game Boy. And then we can pop this into the Super Nintendo and we can look at this much easier. Now, something that's really cool about this is um, it doesn't have the Super Game Boy logo on here. But this has some special features built into it that only work with the Super Game Boy. It's got some like custom borders and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, considering the game was released and this was this was released in 1999, this Game and Watch Gallery game, uh, the Nintendo 64 had been out for years. The Super uh, Super Nintendo at that point was very obsolete. Uh, the Super Game Boy came out in 1994. So it's pretty cool that a game that was, you know, produced in 1999, well past the Super Game Boy and the Super Nintendo's lifespan, um, they managed, they they snuck in some cool features for anybody who would still play this in the Super Game Boy. That's pretty cool. So let's uh, let's pop this into my Super Nintendo and see what some of the games look like. 
Now, if you're a regular to this channel, you know that I'm a big fan of my Super Game Boy. Love my Super Game Boy. I have a, a Game Boy player as well, but I like playing stuff in the Super Game Boy for reasons like, for example, the uh, custom border here that only comes up if you play this with the Super Game Boy. Like I mentioned earlier, we have the options to play the game, and then there's also a view gallery option where a lot of the unlockable stuff, history, all kinds of stuff is there, but let's go ahead and uh, play a game. Let's take a look and see what Mario Brothers looks like. And the first thing you'll notice now down at the bottom, the controller is showing a Super Nintendo controller because it recognizes it's being played in a Super Game Boy. So that's pretty cool. And then the border changes to exactly what this game looked like, basically. I remember playing this game as a kid, and I remember it being a game that folded shut. You can see the hinges there in the middle, and I had the up and down buttons for uh, Luigi and Mario. So this is really cool, and the background uh, really looks like the original LCD game. This is, this is really cool. You can also push a button to kind of change a visual filter that's applied to it, but I like to leave it this way. I'm really into games that, that do special things with the Super Game Boy. I'm trying to collect um, all of the Super Game Boy enhanced Game Boy games, and it looks like that's going to be kind of difficult when some of them have features but aren't advertised with the little Super Game Boy logo on there. So. It looks like my collecting adventure is about to get more interesting. Like I mentioned earlier, um, all of the uh, featured games in this gallery have a classic and a modern mode. So this is what the uh, modern mode looks like for this game. You can see it looks a lot different. But it plays pretty much the same. You move Mario and Luigi up and down to catch the package, but there's added features. Obviously the graphics are better, the sound effects. Um, but here you also have the ability to earn stars. And you use the stars to unlock different things in the Game & Watch Gallery. And I really do enjoy the, the modern remixes of these games, not just for the improved graphics and stuff, but uh, it, they feel like single screen arcade games. Like I'm a huge fan of like Popeye and Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr., and these very much take on that feel in these modern remixes. Now here's that game Egg that we looked at earlier, and again we've got a custom border here to really make it look like the original Game & Watch version. And uh, this game is, is pretty simple, you basically just try and catch the eggs without letting them splat on the ground. And then here's the um, modern remix mode of the same game. And this one has some added features as well, like you'll see those meters in the bottom. If you uh, play differently than how I am here and actually let the uh, things get to right before they're going to fall, they'll turn into like a cookie and then you fill up those meters in the bottom. And also obviously you're not supposed to eat the bombs. So again, same game but added features. And here's Greenhouse, and this is a cool game. Again, love that custom border. And you can also change which screen has focus, the top or the bottom one. And that is Stanley the Bugman, who we haven't seen since Donkey Kong 3. So it's kind of cool to see him again. And then another game, uh, Donkey Kong Jr. I am a huge fan of Donkey Kong Jr. I didn't know this was a Game & Watch game. And this is one I definitely like to get the original, because this is a fun game. Super awesome. What you do is um, go and get the key, and after you do it four times, it frees Donkey Kong, and you get a bunch of points. Now, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Donkey Kong Jr. arcade game, so the modern remix mode is really awesome. Same premise, get the key, you know, four times and free Donkey Kong, but instead, the difference here now is after you do it the fourth time, there's more levels, so it's almost like a sequel to the Donkey Kong Jr. arcade game. One that I need to practice at, obviously, but uh, look at that, there's bullet bills, so it's like it's like a new version of Donkey Kong Jr. This is a really great collection, I would highly recommend getting it. Uh, these are also, like I mentioned earlier, very cheap. 
So not only are they just a cheaper way to collect the Game & Watch games, but they're just cheap for Game Boy games. They're usually all about a few dollars, so I would definitely recommend getting them, especially if you're into single-screen arcade games or you want to collect Game & Watch games but can't afford it. Now, this is the uh, last game I'm going to show up. Like I mentioned earlier, here's the featured games, but when you go to that arrow thing, here's some of the games that you can unlock. Now, I've only unlocked Flagman so far. And these unlockable games don't have modern remixes, it's just the classic game that's available. Um, and these are kind of on the simpler side of these games, but like this one's really cool, for example. This is basically Simon, so you just match what he's doing. Really cool. Anyways, that's been my review of uh, Game & Watch Gallery 3 for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for checking out my review. If you got a few minutes, why don't you check out one of these other videos? I've got some links here to some of the videos I shamelessly plugged earlier in this video. Also, if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and as always, thanks for watching.